Hey guys, how's it going? So, I spent about 10 hours over the last week sorting out my Lego. And this is this is only a little bit of my Lego. So in this block, I'll go quickly go through. In this box here, this is all my two by blocks. Everything bigger than a two by two. This is my one one by blocks. Anything bigger than a one by four and up is in here. Anything with a straight slope or an angle in here. Anything with anything with a curve or a curve slope is in here. Then we go on to plates. So these are my round plates, square plates, any shape plates, as long as they are wider than two two plates wide so anything bigger so three plates or bigger is three studs or bigger is in there anything two plate wide is in here so anything from two plate two by four plates with studs is in here and these are all my angle plates so any plate with an angle goes into that tub uh, here are my one by six and up flat plates this is my plates to be sorted into my tub uh, I have my flat plates so anything with a with a flat edge goes in this thing and that's it basically I have so any any block with a round circle hole this is my towers so I've got my towers anything that's a tower block or a side is in here and then this is my arches this tub is a special piece block so anything that is a special piece windows wheels anything that is special that needs to be resorted into my other tubs goes into there so that is basically it now I have five of these tubs and how I've set it up is I have set it up in all my small pieces so this is all my flat plates so from I've got one flat flat plate ones one rounds uh, two by one two by two two by three and right angle three by one four by one and the two by grill plates so that's that's my flat plates box then this box here is my ang uh, my ramp so i've got one by two two by two one by three uh, one by two under and two by three ramps uh, this is one by one by four two by four then I've got these little pieces and then in here I've got my telephones as I like to call them I don't know what they're really called then these this one here this is my biggest this is my blocks so just like these one by one one by one round uh two by one two by one so two by one two by one uh this is a one by three a one by three this is a one by two with the cross so anything that has the cross and then this is the one by two angle or two by two angle <sighs> this is my ramps so one by one ramp oh, let me get a colorful one so one by one ramp uh, this is one by one specialty so domes uh, pyramids arches whatever two by one point uh, two by one ramp two by one ramps 
Uh, this is a 2x2 two two ramp. This is a round ramp. Uh, one by two ramps and my ramp grills. So they're all my ramps, my flat ramps. And now these are all my studded plates. So again, one by one studded, one by one round stud, one by two stud, one by three stud, two by two. 2x2 two two angle, 2x3, two and 1x4. So this is how I have sorted out these so far. Um, and it has taken me so long to sort. So let me quickly throw all these uh, lids on and put these away into my, into my cupboard over there for the time being. I've got a surprise. See you soon. Okay, so I've, I've put all the Lego away. Um, and I've still got some Lego to sort. So I've got this to sort and I've got so much more Lego to sort. Um, but yeah, 10 hours and I sorted probably about maybe 10, 15 kilos of Lego. So so it didn't get through a lot of Lego. So I went online and... I looked for Lego sorting machines and there's a heap of videos on different Lego sorting machines and they do a stock standard job now what they do is they turn around and they go okay let's sort this type of brick or this type of brick and then they only put a few of those bricks in to show you how the machine works I want a machine that's going to sort the bricks into lots which will make it much easier for me to sort straight into my tubs that way I won't have a hundred tubs on my table because my table is just not big enough so I need it a machine that's going to sort it so I've come up with this idea and this is just a rough rough thing so I've got this board and I've screwed some wood to it and under here I used a piece of cardboard and a flat plate under here I used a piece of cardboard and a plate with studs under here I used a 1x2 brick with a piece of cardboard so anything 1x2 will fit under here anything 2x2 two two should hit here and then fall off anything uh, anything any one by to any one um, one wide bricks will come down they'll hit here and they'll shake off so this is sort of the sorting rig so let's see how it works so if I hold it up at a high enough angle so it comes by and it hits a brick and it goes off if they're laying down they go off a plate and then a flat plate so that's how it works now this is just my very very first concept stage um so this is my very first concept stage so uh, the next question is is do I put a conveyor belt under it to carry the bricks along so they get carried along and then they get pulled off the only issue is is if I use this brick which is an angle if a conveyor belt keeps pulling on it it's just gonna dig into here and it's not gonna move it's gonna block everything up if it comes down this way then it will be pushed off so I think a vibrator a vibrating machine is what's going to be the key so it's going to come down they're going to be on an angle and it's going to vibrate until it comes off the edge so that's sort of how I'm going to have it 
so basically um, yeah so that's my plan is I'm gonna try and make this into a concept where this will vibrate backwards and forwards on an angle about this angle the tubs will be here so it'll fall off into the tubs and it will be fed from a hopper the whole thing will vibrate on a table and it will slide off the end so this is my proof of concept um, and it will then split it it so the whole goal of this is to get one by blocks two by blocks there will be another bar here which will be anything bigger than a two by bar block and it will then um and then it will sort out plates with studs and lastly flat plates so it'll break everything down into those groups and then I can take my tub with the with the then I can take the tub that is um, then I can take the tub and then I only need four or five tubs which then I can sort into I'm sorting out of a smaller tub all those pieces will be in set things so I'm gonna try this um, it's gonna be no AI and all I need to do is get one vibrating motor um, and yeah and that that should get it working and then I'll see if I'll see if it does save me any time and how good it thing so keep watching and you can watch me as I build my Lego sorter thanks very much for watching uh, give me some ideas how you think I can make it better worse that sort of thing um, but yeah thanks for watching subscribe to my channel um, yeah this is the concept of my Lego sorter video thanks very much for watching bye for now